<laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm Camille Heron. I'm from War Acres, Oklahoma in the U.S. I won the 102K uh, Terra Rara two years ago and set the course record. And uh, since then, I've gotten into running 100 miles and beyond. And uh, so yeah, I'm back here to, to take on the 100 mile course and see how fast I can go. I've set the, court, the, the world record for 100 miles. I'm a very fast woman and uh, I'm here to, to see how fast I can go against myself and also against the men. Yeah, I'm running the 102 kilometer race. It's a, a good long distance run, but uh, short enough for early season miles. I'm really excited. I um, just got in the other day, so I haven't seen the trails. It's a very like welcoming place and welcoming people and tons of race options. I knew all of that and I knew the, the course was really fun to, to just roll through. Well done, Merrick. Trail running has is, is become, you know, a pretty popular sport. It's growing like crazy. I, I, when I first got into the sport 19 years ago, someone, I read a quote by someone who said running 100 miles is like uh, living all the emotions of a lifetime one day. And I think that's pretty true. You know, it's a lifestyle. That's what's cool about ultra running. It is a lifestyle, right? We do it all year round. We think about it all year round. Even in our off season, we think about it. So. You know, it's not like a 5K where people are like, oh yeah, I probably I'll start training for that thing. Mm, it's like three weeks away, you know? It's like, no, I got a 100 miler in like six months, I better start training right now. I think with ultra running you get so many different people that specialize in different distances and for me 100 miler has always been the distance that's inspired me the most. It's allowed me to push myself into some dark places that you really have to dig deep and find out who you really are as a person, as an athlete. Um, it's not just about talent. A lot of times 100 miles is about who's putting together a smarter race day, who's being more conservative, who's being more patient. Um, and there's so many more opportunities for things to go wrong, which makes it, when they go right, so means so much more to you. Uh, it's been a bit um, up and down. I had a bit of a low moment around the 30k mark, and as you do, have those moments where you're like, I think I've got to quit this race. I think you just keep on going. 10Ks later, you start to feel better. So I've been looking forward to this sit down, so this is awesome. Nice honey sandwich and banana. Late ride, life doesn't get much better. Not many places yet. Got a boat ride in the middle of an ultra marathon, right? <laughs> Keep me ears, bro. Terrawera is just one of those places that has such a strong energy here and such a background and such a history with the Maori people and that's just something that inspired me and that I know that as I'm running on these, these grounds, these sacred lands for most of them, that I can be engaged, I can be inspired and there's no better way to intimately connect with a land than running through a hundred miles of it. Every event has their, their, their thing that, you know, that makes them really special and so I really like coming back and being part of the ceremonies and uh, the, the tribal cultures and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I would love to come back here every year, you know, as many times as I can just because it's such a unique event.
I've always kind of had a motto, unless it's an injury or life-threatening, you don't stop, you don't quit. You have to say, I can do this, and you have to stay there. So even when it gets hard, you have to say, I just keep moving forward. You have to believe in yourself and believe in the work that you put in to, to that you know you, you deserve to succeed and uh, yeah I mean I'm very inspired by uh, the, the journey and uh, using all that energy around me to get to the finish line. The continued forward motion yeah the finish line will get there but only if you keep moving towards it. Coming out here is all about taking each stride in its own and saying, what can I do? How can I be the most present on this course and experience all of Tarawera? And there's no greater satisfaction than taking that one step across the finish line and realizing that you left everything out there and there isn't, a, there isn't an ounce more left to give. <laughs>